air washers on the Spider 125 occasionally need to be replaced. This is due to friction created by the worm gear drive within the machine body. Here are some of the tools that you're going to need to replace the wear washers. It's important to know if the spider body is sand cast or die cast. You can tell this by looking at the texture of the spider. Sand cast units typically are grainy in look and feel, where the die cast models have a smoother finish. To help with reassembly, number the four drive arms to match their location on the spider body. Begin disassembly by removing all four bolts on the main drive arms, as well as two of the four bolts on the stabilizer arms at the gearbox. Next, remove four of the eight bolts on the stabilizer arms at the jaws. If you're working with a sand cast spider, you'll need to remove and throw away the snap rings. With the drive arms disconnected, we can now slide the jaws off the spider body. The gearbox cover is held on by eight screws. You can remove those at this point. Using a flathead screwdriver, work your way around the gearbox until it's easily lifted off. If it's a tight fit or a sand cast body, you may need to use a dead blow hammer and work your way around the edges. Now that we've removed the plate, Take a rag and wipe all that grease away. It's important to remember which gear is advanced. Take photos if you need to. Using a small flathead screwdriver, stretch the black rubber tubing out of the way. Now you can remove the shear pin with a 1 8 inch pin punch and a hammer. Tap on the dimpled end of the pin so that the flat end comes out first. Now that the shear pin is out, we want to remove the worm gear sectors, but we want to place them on the table exactly as they came out of the machine. This is an important step because the gears are orientation specific. Next, pull the drive shaft out of the worm gear. Now we can remove the old wear washers and throw them away. Now that we've done that, it's time to reassemble our spider. First, install the worm gear drive with the rubber retaining ring in place. If you have the sand cast version of the spider, we're going to install both the worm gear sectors and the worm drive at the same time, but with one tooth advanced. If you have the die cast version, you only need to insert the worm drive and you can rotate the worm gear sectors into place later. Next, install the new wear washers as you slide the drive shaft into place. Make sure you know which body type you have because the die cast has more washers than the sand cast. Once the drive shaft has been inserted, stretch the retaining ring and tap the shear pin back into place. Be sure to insert the shear pin with the tapered end first. If you're repairing a die cast body, retime the gears just as they were during disassembly with one gear advanced. With the gears reinstalled, place the drive arms and the outside arms back in their appropriate position by matching them up with the numbers that you previously labeled on the spider body. Turn the drive shaft until the arms are all the way open and flush with each other. If both arms are not completely touching, then you have one of the following problems. The gears are timed wrong, one of the gear sectors was flipped, or a drive arm is in the wrong position. Once the arms are aligned correctly, fill the cavity two-thirds full with a high temperature EP grease. Replace the gearbox cover and reinstall the bolts. Now attach the jaws and the final four arms. Finally, confirm the installation was done correctly with the spider alignment tool. If there's any vertical misalignment, you will need to shim the higher jaw. For more videos like this, visit the McElroy University YouTube channel.